trying to figure out how to protect all animal species and how to steward them well, we can't protect what we don't know about. So white nose syndrome is a fungal disease that uh, originated in New York. It's progressing west, so it's a fungus that grows on these bats and it causes them to arouse from hibernation. And so they're waking up hungry and they'll emerge in the winter when there's no insects flying around and there's nothing for them to eat and they've run out of their fat reserves and so they do, uh, they do die from starvation. And it's been devastating to the populations of these different bat species uh, in the eastern United States. Uh, there are very large aggregations of bats in the east and so when white nose syndrome hit those large colonies it was very obvious. We don't have those large aggregations here in Colorado or in the western United States and so seeing when white nose comes isn't going to be as easy. We're working in the Yampa Valley near Steamboat at uh, a couple different roost sites uh, looking at where the little brown bats uh, have their young, so these maternity sites. Part of the tagging process uh, is injecting a small pit tag and they're about the size of a grain of rice. It basically gives a unique number to each bat that can then be followed over time. We can see when the bats come and how their population levels are doing and how they're surviving year to year. Bats are a critical component to many different ecosystems. If bats disappeared uh, from the uh, face of the earth instantly, uh, we would definitely notice that. Uh, the, the insect population, especially in the summertime, uh, would, uh, would explode and there'd be a large, much larger number of mosquitoes. So I consider myself pretty fortunate to work with these uh, species. They're very unique creatures that are part of uh, Colorado's uh, natural heritage.